All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is of course Bullet RC, and I'm coming to you guys again with yet another video. And the reason I was gonna wear these is, as you guys can see, my eye, like on the bottom, like y'all see that, right? Like it's crazy red, almost like pink eye. Basically, uh, whenever my girlfriend gets something, I get something, whether that's a cold or a cough or something. So if I ever get sick and can't make videos, you guys can, you guys can blame her. But I guess for this video, I'm just gonna look like the villain from uh, Last Action Hero. And for those who don't get that reference, I'll just, you know, put a picture right here. Anyways, I got some new boxes in. I actually had this stuff for a while. I just have not had the time to shoot the actual video for it. So we got three new shoe pickups from Adidas. One I'm really excited to see in hand. Um, and then we also got two more I got in the care package, so which is really dope. So shout out to my dude Brandon. Let's go ahead and hit that montage. Oh, yo, and make sure on the montage you use the new knife this time. Not though, I mean, we can still use the old one, but I just use a new one this time. All right, cool. Shin like, fuck who told me to sit. 10 toes on the cement. Love weed in my socks. Send do songs to repent. Clean up my thoughts. We in a box. See a lot of niggas talk on the bench. A lot of father figures following trends. I ain't involved with them. Lemons like to fall off a cliffs and bring a squad with them. A few moments later. All right, so as you guys just saw, we just unboxed three new pairs of kicks. We got an Ultra Boost. We have an Adidas Top 10. And then we also have an Adidas Crazy 8. Those are the boxes, and let's actually get into the shoes. So I think I'm gonna first off, I'm gonna start off with these shoes from the Kobe Vino pack. Um, and these joints, details and materials, I feel like was definitely one of the main points on these. Um, they're called Vino because their concept is based off of fine wine, the aging of wine, and of course it's a tribute to Kobe Bryant. You guys, of course, who doesn't know who Kobe Bryant is? If you don't know who Kobe Bryant is, how? How Anyways, I'm gonna start off with the Crazy 8. Now the Crazy 8 is this all over burgundy. I don't know what kind of suede this is. I don't know what they used on it, but all I know is it's something real because I read that tag on the front that says, the special material used on this shoe is not washable or brushable. But as you guys can see, it's an all over burgundy. You got those cork hits on the actual tongue, all matched up with those gold aglets on the laces. And then of course, in Adidas Crazy 8 style, you got that crazy, looking outsole on the bottom, torsion system of course. Um, and these are just from materials to, I really like the cork. Um, I think these, I got actually the two best, in my opinion, pairs out of the pack. Um, just this all over burgundy uh, with the cork hits and the gold. It's a little bit of silver on the front too, kind of on this uh, crescent on the top of the tongue. It just looks good, yo. It just really looks good. And I think the colors look really well together. So that's the crazy eight from the Vino pack. If you guys want a full review on this shoe, it's a few, a few shoes I've gotten recently. I didn't really know if you guys needed a full review on them. But if you do want a full review on feet so you guys can kind of see them, let me know and I will do that. Next up, we have my favorite out of the Vino pack and that has to be these joints right here. Now, I don't know who in Adidas, who in the lab uh, thought to put the cork and this crazy like all this all over the shoe there's this white um, it's a really weird material I really can't explain it to you guys um, but it has this it has this print or it just has this pattern underneath it and that's everywhere on the upper of the shoe except for where you see the cork at um, I think it just looks good I think the white with the cork looks great and to me I think this is the best shoe out of the pack um, you once again you got those gold aglets on the ends of the lace tips you have your crescent on the top now this one says something and I'm not gonna try to say it because I have no clue how to pronounce that one and of course the crazy eight has something different on the crescent on the tongue but once again these are my top two picks from the vino pack um, the all burgundy crazy eights this crazy suede material um, basically don't let water touch it don't let anything touch it except for the Sun and then you got your Adidas top 10 2000 all over cork with this crazy pattern just a crazy crazy looking shoe um, so to me these are definitely my favorite two out of the Vino pack so next up and last up is a shoe that I've actually had for a little while I just hadn't had a chance to talk about it matter of fact let me change my, my background real quick hold on all right, y'all, so my last pickup for this video is a shoe that I actually got back on the original release on Adidas.com. I just had not had a chance to get them in hand and actually show them to you guys, to take them out of the box. And that is the new Triple White Ultra Boosted 2.0 models. I'm gonna call these joints a straight angel dust. <laughs> it's, it's, it's angel 
Angel does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ultra Boost. These look so much better in person than they do on basically any of the product pictures um, on any of the sites. When I seen them on Adidas, I literally didn't check out on them for a while. Like I almost just slept on them and just let them go. Um, as you guys know, I do have the original all white version with the black bottom instead of the continental white sole. You know, you guys can see a little bit of a difference here, the green versus the black. Blase, blase, the colors are a little bit different as well. This one is all white while this one has a few few darker hits. I mean, mine are just dirty, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it is what it is. I'm just saying, keep your eye out for them. If you don't have the original all white boost and you're looking for a boost, trust me, um, I honestly like this version better than that one. I really didn't think there was gonna be too big of a difference, but when you actually get them in hand, they really ditched the off white and went for a more like ice kind of gray hit on the t on the toe as you guys can see on the front there's kind of like this gray line which isn't really that bad in person um and i think i like that a bit better than how they did the um the prime knit on this one they use kind of like this off white and white mixture on this one it seems like they're just using all white and then using a little bit of gray mixture on the top of the tongue as you guys can see hey, yo trust me trust me trust me I would have been mad if I seen somebody wearing these and I passed up on them. Um, but I'm pretty sure, just like any other other Ultra Boosts, they're probably going to restock a few times. So if you're patient, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to grab them. And plus, the prices on these aren't crazy like those were. You know, the great thing about these days with shoes is that they re restock so many times that, you know, I mean, the reselling some things are still pretty strong. Um, but when they restock these boosts over and over and over again, the price, the resale price drops on them, but it also gives a lot of people more opportunity to grab them at retail, which is dope in my opinion. But anyways, guys, that is it. Much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Snups, here, there, Blase, blah, and of course, Bullet RC. And me and my red eye, man. Oh, it doesn't look too bad here, but me and my red eye, man. We about to get out of here. Y'all be easy. Hope you enjoyed the pickups. And if you want to see a full review on any of these three shoes, let me know down below. And um, I'm going to get to working on that. Y'all be easy. Peace. I don't fear the end. I feel the end. I listen to my past when it whispered to me half of it, it makes sense.